Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I am super excited this weekend. I'm going to Connecticut and meet some of a couple of my clients. Videos are going to be recorded and we'll put it up here. So more to more to come. So stay tuned. Now today we're going to talk about recurring transactions, especially recurring bill. Uh, the question is, is recurring bill available on all subscription? The answer is no, it's only available on plus and advance. Now, is it a good idea to set up recurring payments? Uh, I'm sorry, recurring bills and I say depends. <laughs> if you just record your, your, uh, uh, your bills or your expenses once you actually pay for them, um, you don't necessarily need to set up a recurring bill because you can just uh, set up a rule in banking so that it can categorize accordingly. Now, um, for purposes of planning, budgeting, and things like that, if you do record your your bills in the book, it's it's going to be better for you on to forecast your expenses and your income and things like that. So. Yes, it can be very, and, and of course, it's automation. When you can set out automation, um, it's always good. Now, keep in mind, when you enter, a recurring bill is not going to automatically record the payment. <laughs> so if you are making the payment through QuickBooks, then it will automatically generate that, um, that payment in QuickBooks and match it. But if not, if you're sending a check or ACH or whatever way you're paying, you still have to record the payment in the bill. So keep that in mind. All right, so here we go into QuickBooks. All right, we're going to maximize this uh, screen here. All right, to get to bill payment, how do I do that, Claudia? Or recurring transaction. See the gear menu on the top right hand side? Click there and then you can click on all lists. Now keep in mind with QuickBooks there is always different ways to get to the same place. Right? Um, you can go into vendors so there's different ways. But here is how we are getting. So plus um, gear menu and then click on all lists. All lists, sorry. <laughs> okay and then we're gonna go recurring transactions all right now uh, there's different kinds of recurring transaction you can create we talked about recurring invoices uh, before so if you want to see that video uh, I'm gonna put a link here but today we're gonna talk about recurring bills now keep in mind to set up recurring bill it only works if the bill is the same every month uh, such as rent uh, it's not gonna work for it f bills that fluctuate such as gas or telephone bill and things like that so keep in mind unless you have a set price it's always the same not gonna change you don't want to set up recurring bill number two there is a workflow for entering a bill so if the bill is going to automatically generate once you actually pay the bill you want to make sure that you record that unless you process the payment through quickbooks which is going to automatically generate that payment hmm. good to know right <laughs> okay so very simple on the right hand side click on the plus new and then we're going to select the type of course bill is the first one but like i said there's different options uh, and those are all recurring transactions you can set up uh, no posting charge uh, such as time or whatever you want you know services and things like that a check maybe pay same thing saying you know like a check to rent and things like that you can do it um credit card credit if you have a set amount credit memo deposit an estimate or an expense invoice invoice is very popular journal entry you can use a journal entry such as um like i said amortization or depreciation things like that 
so you can set it up um, through through the, just auto 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 setup so it's gonna do it through through the month through the year all right okay purchase order sales receipt transfer so all those are the options we are going to talk about bills so okay here how do you set it up pretty simple um, you, you're just gonna select the vendor let's see something Brosner Insurance Agency that's a good one okay uh, let's see on the first of every month then you gotta you you know you can do it monthly you can do it weekly or yearly if it is a yearly subscription of course we're gonna do it monthly at the beginning of each month and the start date I'm going to set it up as November 1st okay the term is let's say 10 days to get paid fair enough okay and then I can put whatever category that this bill is about so I can I can put rent Oh, I, actually, it's insurance. Hello? <laughs> Rent for insurance? Oh, that's not going to say. So, insurance. Uh, and you can select a class. If there is a customer that you're purchasing this in behalf, you can do that. And, of course, the amount right here. Let's say $200. Um, you can put the details of the product, but for me, this is sufficient. Okay, so the product and service, you can put um, a specific product in here, but the, the, I, all we need in this case to enter the bill is this first part, insurance, $200 every month, and we're going to save template. So from now on, every month there will be an automatically bill generated for $200. Now keep in mind, that when, like I said, once you enter here, and the bill is generated you still have to pay the bill so plus new you can do pay bills okay and then you can select the bill and record the payment once you record the payment then you go in banking and you go ahead and you're gonna match that okay of course here like I said this is just a simple account uh, we have a few deposits and check matching and bill payment here look at this bng bill payment go ahead and match it that's how you do it okay simple enough very simple can save you some time but just something to think about because of course if set up rules you you never set up rules especially if you set it up for automatically categorizing if you have a recurring bill um uh, bill in QuickBooks Online. So it's either or because most of my clients come with me with problems when they set up um, out of out of rules, for instance, and then they they have the bill coming through the checking account, and then they categorize it again, not realizing. Um, or oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's out of the auto accept categorized so it goes straight into review without the customer having the opportunity to match to a bill payment or anything like that so be careful with that um, you know rules if you have rules especially out of rules don't want to create an invoice because you're gonna be duplicating everything so but it is good because if you want to organize especially have a forecast if your business it's uh say a good size and you like to forecast what you're going to make and what what's going to be your bottom line those are great tools to um to record pre-record those monthly you don't have to worry about it okay all right i hope this was useful I'm looking forward to come up next week with the videos we had for this week, for tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to be trying some delicious pizza. <laughs> My whole family is excited about that. And also some delicious arepas from our clients. Somos arepas in Connecticut. So looking forward for tomorrow. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, and subscribe to our channel if you like this video subscribe and share with everyone share 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 with all your friends and if you have any comments
go ahead and write down below if you have any questions write down below and until next time keep on smiling